How to fix update KV5063878 0x802 error in Windows 11 24 2 Hello friends, follow the steps to fix this error. First of all, make change in a few services. To do this, click on search, type services, click on services. Find Windows installer in the list. This one. Right click on this service. Select properties. My startup type is grayed out. If the startup type is highlighted in your system, click on this drop down and select automatic. If the service is stopped, click on start. Click on OK. Right click on Windows Installer and select Restart. Then look for Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This one. Right click on this service, select Properties. Change the startup type to Automatic and click on Start. Click on Apply, click on OK. Right click on Background Intelligent Transfer Service, select Restart. In the same way, right click on Windows Update and select uh, Properties. The startup type is already automatic, the service is stopped, so click on Start. Click on OK. Right click on Windows Update. Select Restart. Once done, close the services window. Click on Start. Go to Settings. Windows Update. And click on Check for Updates, which will be appearing here. The second method you can follow is remove all the external peripherals. If any external mouse, keyboard, hard drive, camera or any other peripheral is connected to a computer support, then remove it temporarily and try to install the update. After installing the update, you can connect them again. The next method is Reset Windows Update Cache. For this, click on Search, type Command. Right click on command prompt, select run as administrator. Click on yes. Go to the video description. You will find these commands there. These are Windows update reset commands. Copy the first line, paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Copy the second line, paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Copy the third line, paste into the command prompt, hit enter. Do you want to continue this operation? Yes or no? Type Y and press enter. In the same way, run all these commands and in the end, restart your computer. Then try to install the update. If the issue still persists, you will have to run uh, DISM and SFC command line tools. For this, you will again have to launch the command prompt. Click on search, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, select run as administrator, select yes. Again go to the video description area, you will find these commands there. This is DISM restore health command. Copy this command, paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Wait for the process to complete. Then copy the system files checker command. 
paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Once completed, close the command prompt and restart your computer. Then check for updates and try to install it. If any of the methods don't work, it means you will have to perform in place upgrade. To perform in place upgrade, launch a browser. Type Windows 11 download in the address bar. Press enter. Click on this link which says download Windows 11. Once the page is loaded, scroll down. To reach uh, download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices, click on the select download drop down and select this option. Windows 11 multi edition ISO for x64 devices. If your device is ARM64 based, then you can click on this link and follow the steps accordingly. Click on confirm. Now we have to select the product language from here. First check the language of your Windows system to avoid any mistake. Click on start. Select settings. Go to time and language. Then click on language and region. Check windows display language. This will be the system language. Mine is English United States. Check yours and uh, choose the language here click on choose one select english united states click on confirm on the next page click on the 64 bit download button let the download complete once completed launch the file explorer click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar Go to the downloads folder, which is usually the download location for users. Right click on the just downloaded ISO file and select mount. Then right click on setup.exe, select open. Click on yes on user account control. For install Windows 11, click on Next. On the next window, for applicable notices and license terms, click on Accept. In the end, click on Install. During installing process, your computer will restart multiple times. Wait for it. The update will be installed, which we are trying to install through Windows Update Settings. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.